Colonel West, I want to thank you because every time you speak... You got a Black Lives Matter t-shirt? Absolutely. You know who this is from. Oh, no, okay. Black Life Matters. Uh, this is the Christian version, not the communist one. Okay. I was trying to highlight that. I know what yeah. said. So this is actually, it's called Black, Every Black Life Matters. It's not Black Lives Matter, which is the communist version. This is a Christian version. That, and it's a good friend of Colonel West that's actually got this going. So when I see people, I say, look it. I believe everything that you say. Black Life Matters from birth to school choice, to children having the right to their father in their homes. Mm -hmm. Family integrity is a big issue. Every income mobility. This is the Christian version, and, this, and what I've been finding is that by going up to people wearing this and talking about this, it's, I've had people thank me. I've had nobody turn me away. Thank you. But this is a very important issue. And I just want to thank you, Colonel West, because every time you speak, I learn something from you. Really? I really? absolutely tell my wife that? But I was wondering at the same time if you would speak, because there was a study that came out, and I brought one for you that just came out. It said married families keep voting red. And it talks about something we never talk about as Republicans. The marriage rate was the sharpest distinguishing characteristic between who voted for Biden and who voted for Trump. And that's why I said we've got to be protecting marriage. And our Texas GOP platform, Plank 321, talks about repealing unilateral no-fault divorce. I've been told, well, that's not a big issue. But I think you, Colonel West, coming from the struggles that you did and knowing the value of an intact family, of having a mother and father together. Maybe you could speak about this issue because you've got to talk about this foundational issue. Absolutely. Uh, and how many people here have seen the documentary Uncle Tom? Okay. Everybody here should see that documentary. And, and this is your other homework assignment for this month and hopefully every month. But I want you to read the autobiography of Booker T. Washington, Excellent. Up From Slavery. Okay, when you read that story, no one in America has the right to be a victim. Amen. 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 I mean, if you are born into slavery, you become free. You walk from present-day West Virginia to Hampton, Virginia to get an education, and then someone tells you that you've got to establish the first institution of higher learning for blacks in the South, and you become an advisor and a counselor to two U.S. presidents, one of the greatest educators and orators, you gotta read that book, Up From Slavery. But he's absolutely right. You know, even though I was born in 1961, a blacks only hospital in the inner city of Atlanta, Georgia, two parent household back then in the black community, 77 to 75%. Today, 24%. LBJ did it. LBJ and part of his great society programs when he said that if a woman has a child out of wedlock, the government will provide a check to that woman for each child, regardless of how many children, except here was a caveat. You could not have a working man in the home. And now think about the second and third order effects in our inner city communities. And so that's why I wanted to highlight your, your t-shirt. Because so often we allow the other side to take over the immoral, not the moral, but the immoral high ground. <laughs> when we have the moral high ground. And so when someone comes up to you and they say black lives matter, the first response you should say is which black lives? <laughs> and then watch their eyes just go ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how you put people on the defense. You put people on the heels, because black lives matter they don't believe in the traditional nuclear family. That's on their website. They have never said anything about Planned Parenthood, which was founded by white supremacists, a racist, a woman who spoke in Ku Klux Klan rallies that referred to blacks as undesirables and weeds. Margaret Sanger, 73% of, uh, of uh, Planned Parenthood clinics are in black communities. Why are we talking about that? We could crush them. Instead of castigating and denigrating you, Gary, as a white supremacist, they believe in an organization that was founded by a white supremacist and a racist and a big. Robert Ku Klux Klan bird. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So let's take over that narrative. And so, like you said, talk about all of these black lives that do matter and the black life that matters. 20 million folks, over 20 million unborn black babies murdered in the womb since 1973 Roe v. Wade. Uh -huh. 
Unreal. 20 million. In 2019, nine unarmed blacks were shot by white police officers. Nine. In 2020, I think it was uh, 12, 13 unarmed blacks shot by white police officers. Two of those uh, shootings were ruled unjustified. So where's the real crisis? But if we're not standing up, we're not showing our courage, then they go out there and they have that narrative. 